Hey guys, so I wanted to make a short post about the Earth's spin and how it affects the seasons. Uh, so we all know, hopefully, that the Earth spins on its axis once every 24 hours. And you also hopefully know that the Earth's axis is tilted, uh, more specifically at about 23 and a half degrees. But what does that mean? What does it mean to be tilted with respect to the axis? Uh, so, let's take a look here. First of all, we have this bottle of Tabasco. Uh, I don't know what it's doing in the labyrinth, but I happen to find it here. And I'm just going to spin this. So as I spin this around, uh, we can define what's called the axis of rotation. For this bottle of Tabasco, the axis of rotation is coming straight out, out of its cap. It's spinning around this line right here. So if I spin it like this, the axis of rotation is pointing straight up. Now what does it mean for this to be tilted? Sure, I can just tilt it over this way. And it looks tilted to me until I spin my head like that. Now it looks perfectly straight up and everything else is tilted. So what does it mean for the Earth to be tilted? And for the solar system to be at a, at a tilt with respect to the Earth's axis? So let's take a look at that. So I have here a basketball, which is going to represent the sun, and this Tabasco uh, bottle again, which is going to represent the Earth. And I'm going to have the Tabasco bottle, I'm going to have the Earth orbit the sun here. Now as the Earth orbits the sun, the path that, this, that the Earth uh, traces out over the course of the orbit traces out a circle, roughly a circle, on a flat surface. Now that flat surface has a name. The name for that flat surface that the orbit of the Earth traces out is called the orbital plane. It's the plane of the orbit. So as the Earth goes around the Sun, it remains on this flat plane, the orbital plane. And the plane, the direction we say that the plane lies, we can make a line coming straight out of that plane at 90 degrees directly up from the plane of that orbit. This is the direction of the Earth's orbital plane. Now for the Earth's axis to be tilted, the direction of the axis would have to be tilted like this, or like this, or away from this. So if the Earth's axis was tilted, the direction of the axis, which now points towards me, is no longer in line with the direction of the orbital plane. So if I make a line straight up the orbital plane, that's coming straight up, but the axis is no longer coming straight up from the Earth. So, watch what happens now as the Earth orbits the Sun with the orbital axis not in line with the, uh, the rotation axis. It's rotating as it goes around the Sun, Notice that the direction of that axis has not changed. It's still pointing towards me. It goes around the sun more. And again, when it gets to the other side of the sun, the axis is still pointing towards me. The direction that axis points remains the same. That's the key point. No matter where it is in the orbit, that axis is still pointing the same direction in the sky. Okay, so let's put all this together here. I have an actual model of the, of the Earth, obviously a globe, and you are going to be the sun. I'm going to walk around and demonstrate the Earth's orbit. From your point of view, you're going to be the sun. I'm going to be going around the center of the orbit. So what you see here is going to be exactly equal to what the sun is illuminating. Any side that you're seeing here is in the daytime side of the Earth. And as I walk around, you're going to see how your view of the Earth changes. And what this means is we're going to actually uh, see exactly how seasons are caused. So uh, I'm going to start, the Earth is tilted. If the Earth is not tilted, the axis will point this way. But we know the Earth's axis is tilted 23 and a half degrees, roughly. So we see we start off, and it's pointing to your right. Now, as I begin my orbit, as I walk around, the axis is pointing the same direction. Now you're beginning to see more and more of the northern hemisphere. And I'm going to pause here. At this point in the orbit, the Earth's northern hemisphere is pointed most directly towards the sun. So move it a little closer. Your view here is mainly of the northern hemisphere. You're seeing a little bit of the southern hemisphere here, but only briefly during one full spin. You're seeing a lot more of the northern hemisphere. Watch as North America passes in front of the sun here. North America is getting the most direct sunlight over the course of the day here, and it's in the sunlit side the longest over the course of the day. So your view of the Earth is mainly of the northern hemisphere. This would be uh, summer on the northern hemisphere. Now as I walk, walk around again, continue to watch what happens to the axis and your view of the Earth. So it's still spinning, still spinning. As I go around here now, you're seeing the full, is this the full western hemisphere. You're seeing just barely the tip, the northern, the north pole, and just barely the southern tip, the south pole. And over the course of one full day, the north and the southern hemisphere are both getting equal amounts of light for an equal amount of time. This is called the fall equinox. 
Now, as we go around a little more, watch what happens to the amount of the northern hemisphere that you see here. It's, the axis is still pointing away from, or pointing this direction. Now, your view of the Earth, from your vantage point of the sun, is mainly of the southern hemisphere. This would be seven, uh, summer on the southern hemisphere here. If you're in uh, Chile or uh, Brazil or these areas, you're going to be getting the most direct sunlight. Whereas you can barely see us here in the northern hemisphere. That'd be us right about there. We're getting very indirect sunlight, meaning that we're going to experience winter at this time. So this is when the Earth's axis is pointing most directly away from the sun here. This is when you're experiencing the winter solstice. And let's keep going here. Make one pull up. Again, the axis is still pointing in this direction. And now we come back to where we started. So after the winter solstice, now at this point, again, you're getting a view of exactly one half of the Earth, exactly the... The Western Hemisphere here, now exactly the Eastern Hemisphere. And again, the X is pointing that, in that direction. If we continue this on, which we won't, uh, again, the main point is that the, from the Sun's vantage point, you're seeing the, the Earth more directly from the Northern Hemisphere or more directly from the Southern Hemisphere at various points in the orbit. And that's why we have seasons, because the uh, directness of Sun changes from the Northern Hemisphere to the Southern Hemisphere over the course of the year.